Imagine this. You and your friends are a group of students at a garage sale. One of your friends finds a mysterious old board game called The Key. It seems to be about spies breaking secret codes. Sure, sounds fun, right? Don't mind the mysterious figure lurking in the car just down the road. Let's just play. The Initiative is a deceptively fun cooperative code-breaking game for one to four players. Players take the role of those kids on that day, playing an old mysterious game from a garage sale. Seems like the last owner left a few surprises in the box for you too. But don't worry, there are no spoilers in this video. So, like we do every day here at Great Oaks, we're going to teach you how to play. Warning! When you first open the box, you'll be tempted to rip open all of the decks and start placing them in bags, like we all do. But hold off for just a second. These two decks contain cards with game-ruining secrets printed on them. So when you tear into those puppies, just make sure not to shuffle them or look at their faces. Game-ruining secrets can also be found on the uh, Initiative Guidebook. When you first open the book, you'll be greeted with the first part of the story. Wherever you encounter these segments, just hold the book open like this and read the segment out loud to the other players. If you're watching this with your friends, feel free to do this now. The next few pages have a bunch of words on them, so don't worry about that. First, build the mission console by snapping these little plastic pieces into the frame. Then, flip all the windows down. Feel free to open the rest of the cards and punch out all of the components. This is the rulebook for The Key, the game that you guys picked up from the garage sale. For your first game of The Key, place the double-sided game board in the center of the table with this side up. Just make sure the walls you see match what you see here. Place one wall feature here, the home feature here, and return the rest of these tokens to the box. Collect all the tan clue tokens and return the rest of those to the box. And have each player choose a character card, take its matching standee, and return the rest of those to the box. Carefully take the first mission card from the deck without looking at its face and place it into the mission console like so. As long as all of the windows are flipped down, when you reveal the front of the console, you'll be greeted with a mysterious puzzle to solve. Each one of those symbols corresponds to a letter. The goal of the game is to cooperatively crack the code and reveal the key phrase. Return the rest of the mission cards and all of the secret cards to the box, for now. On the back of the console, you'll find a diagram describing how to set up the board. Randomize the clue tokens and place them face down on the indicated spaces in small stacks. These four cards are the action cards. Place them near the board like this. You'll be playing cards above them, so make sure to leave some room. These cards, with this creepy guy on them, are the resource cards. Remove these cards with the slick Casio calculator watch and shuffle the rest of them to form a draw pile. Place that within reach of all of the players and have each player draw four cards. Then place the discard pile card near the board with the four time resource cards on top. 
All cards discarded during the game will be placed here. Now that we're ready to play, flip to page 1 of the Initiative Guidebook and read Chapter 1 out loud. The first player that volunteers will take the first turn. On your turn, you will take one or two actions. To take an action, you must play a card from your hand onto any of the action cards. The only rule is this. To play a card on top of another card, its value must be higher. At the end of your turn, after you've taken two actions, you then must draw back up to four cards. You can discuss cards in your hand with your teammates, but you can never give any information that reveals their exact values. The actions are Intel Run Gather and Regroup the Intel action allows you to reveal up to two tiles in one room. If you reveal any tiles that don't match any symbols on the puzzle you're solving, just remove them from the board now to reduce clutter. The Run action allows you to make up to three moves with your standee. Each move allows you to move from one room to an adjacent one. The Gather action allows you to collect up to two clue tokens from the room your standee is in. If you collect a face-up clue token, reveal any letters on the console matching that clue. If you collect a face-down token, reveal it and collect it as usual. When revealing clues, you might trigger a trap. When gas is triggered, each player in that room must discard one card from their hand. Tokens with a brown background stay on the board once they're triggered. This one is a security camera. Once the security camera is triggered, it stays in the room for the rest of the game, and any player who ends their turn in that room must discard one card from their hand. When any of these counter intel traps are triggered, place the token on the action card matching the symbol on the trap. While the token is there, no cards can be played on that action. To get rid of this or any other cards on your actions, just take the regroup action. This action discards any tokens and all cards from these three action cards. But beware. The regroup action can never remove cards from itself, so it will just continue to accumulate cards until you either win or lose. Another action you can take is your character's special action. Each character has a special action listed on their card. You can activate by discarding any two cards from your hand as one action. When you do this, just follow the text on the card. To win, guess the secret phrase. At any point in the game, players can guess the answer to the question at the top of the mission card. However, every player must agree on the guess before the game can end. When you do this, reveal the answer and check your work. If you were right, you have won. If you were wrong, even by a single letter or number, you've lost. This game even features another fun way to lose. If you run out of cards to draw, you're beginning to run out of time. Shuffle the discard pile with the time cards to form a new draw deck. And flip over the discard pile. You are now in peril. Continue playing like normal. However, you now have the option to not draw cards at the end of your turn. Why? Well, because if you ever draw a time card at the end of your turn, you'll place it here. And 
If this pile ever has three time symbols in it, you all lose the game. And that's how you play your first game of the key, and therefore the initiative. Once you've finished your first game, check the campaign log on the back of the guidebook. It's almost got this choose-your-own-adventure feel to it, replacing decisions with wins and losses. Wherever you discover secrets, record that here and retrieve the secret card from the secret deck. Don't look at any secret or mission cards or any other pages of the initiative guidebook until you're instructed to. It's all part of the game. Just follow the chapter tracker and you'll be on your way. We've just started you out on this journey, but I do hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. What's your favorite puzzle game? Post your answers in the comments below. And if you have any questions or feedback, we'll be sure to reply as soon as we're able. The Initiative is one of hundreds of great games you can pick up for up to 30% off at greatoakstavern.com slash shop. Click the link in the description for more information. Or just stop on by when you're in town to play this and over 600 other awesome games like it at Great Oaks Tavern.